everyone. Welcome to MPD at a Glance. I'm Sharon Baer. And I'm Kalani Souza. So Sharon, what do you got going on this weekend? I have a long weekend with Monday being Memorial Day. We have an extra day off and we have been celebrating graduations this week. Wow, yes, it is the season. Right? Yes, didn't you just have one? We did, we did last night. The Citizens Academy graduated after six weeks of attending classes. So I was very uh, happy to be part of that. So they were very proud to have completed the program. They learned about everything from uh, investigative stuff to accumulated to canine demos just last night. So How many graduates? 26. Oh wow, that's yeah. a pretty good turnout. Yeah, not bad for our first time in, uh, we haven't had this program in six years. So we are gonna offer it twice a year. The next dates are coming up in September. Look for those dates to be announced soon on social media. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, we also have the CSI camp coming up and that's for the younger younger kids that are interested in some uh, forensic stuff or being in law enforcement. And um, we have one coming up on June 17th. I think there's still two spots open in that one. We have another one coming up in July, and that's July 22nd, and there are quite a few openings in that. Those are for ages 10 to 13. That's what you used to do, right? Yes. Yeah. Didn't you start that camp? I did. Oh, I did. very cool. Uh, the, the camp will be, um, it has the kids doing fingerprint processing, crime scene processing. They learn about photography. Uh, we have our canine demo comes, our SWAT team, the uh, drug prevention, gang prevention, uh, internet safety. I mean, they cover a lot, but one of the one of the highlights of the week is that um, the bioforensics teacher, Mr. Minshew from Enox High School comes in. They do DNA of a strawberry. They do some fire science. They do a lot of hands-on fun stuff. And then at the end of the week, they process a crime scene. They do a mock crime scene. They collect prints. They do comparisons and they identify the bad guy. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very fun. And it gets them out of the house for, what is that, a week-long program? It's a week-long, week eight long? to noon. Okay. Yeah. Kind of get the kids out and active for part of the summer at least. Yeah. So. Yeah. They're at the Boy Scout Center at Insel Park. Nice. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a fun yeah. event. The kids really enjoy it. Nice. I might have to stop in this year. Maybe okay. I can learn something on how to yeah. collect fingerprints. Definitely. <laughs> nice. Well, if you're interested in signing up for that, you can do it at the Modesto Parks and Rec website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. So, also going on this weekend, you know, we've got our countywide public safety fair on Saturday. Oh, and that's in Turlock? That's in Turlock at the Turlock Fairgrounds. That's from 10 to 2. All agencies within our county are going to be out there represented. So, everyone from Sheriff's Office, Modesto PD, Series PD, Turlock PD, Probation, I believe, is going to be out there. So, that should be a good event. So, hopefully, the uh, the weather stays clear for us out there. Oh, yeah. So, I know we'll be out there from uh, 10 to 2. I'm going to be out there. Are you going to post some pictures? Yeah, I'll and... post some pictures and you know, maybe even do some kind of Facebook Live. We'll see, oh, yeah. see what happens. That would be so, great. Yeah, see if I can call on anybody into getting on camera with me. So, Wonderful. to find a replacement for Sharon <laughs> that day. So, she's going to be enjoying the graduations. <laughs> hey, uh, on a serious note, um, we had the homicide last week that we talked about. Um, we made an arrest on Friday. Um, it was 37-year-old uh, Joseph Chapman of Modesto was arrested for homicide at Christina Hill. Um, so if we get any new developments in that, we'll, we'll make sure we push that out for everybody. And that was the subject in the videos that we have released, correct? Yes. Very yes. nice. So thank you for your help on that investigation. Yes. So I know we wouldn't be able to solve that without our community members, so, right. uh, so it was nice. Yeah, we received an anonymous tip on that one. Very nice. We have a new member on our media team we that do. just started today. Yes, we do. After months of uh, trying to find somebody. Yes. So yes. Yep. We have uh, Danielle. Come on over. This is Danielle Hi. Castillo. <laughs> um, she's our new intern. She's a student at Stan State, and she'll be uh, helping us with some of our posts. And you might even have her on here to, you know, talk about some community events. I'm very excited to start. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, welcome. All right. Yeah. Welcome, Danielle. So, just another another way to get your foot in the door and grab some experience. So, yeah. yeah. It's good. I'm glad we were able to make that happen finally. Yes. So, I know it was a long process. I'm glad we were working on that forever. <laughs> Three or four months. <laughs> yes, several months. So, well, welcome aboard, Danielle. Yes. I think that's about all we got this week. So, busy weekend for everybody. We got graduations, public safety fair. Uh, so, busy busy couple weeks. So, I'm sure there'll be a lot of social media updates. Yes. And. Uh, Look forward to seeing you again next week. Sober grad. Sober grad, yes. <laughs> Grab an Uber. <laughs> and congratulations to all you 2019 graduates. Yes. Bye-bye.